In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix your iPhone not recognizing a USB flash drive. It's a very simple method, so if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. But anyways, getting into it, you might have some like files that you have on a flash drive or, you know, external drive that you connected to your iPhone, but your iPhone's not, you know, recognizing it, which can be really frustrating because, you know, if it doesn't recognize it, then you can't transfer anything. So whenever you go to your files app, it's going to look something like this. And as you can see, my T7 touch is being recognized. You can press get info and it shows, you know, it's two terabytes and shows the format, all of that stuff. But you know, if it's not showing for you and if you don't see your external drive, there's a few different things that you can do. So the very first thing that I want you to do is go over to your settings application. Now, once you're in your settings, I want you to go to general, which is right under battery and then go over to software update. Now check if you have a software update available. And if you do, and if you haven't updated your iOS version in a while, it's definitely worth doing this. Then once you have restart your iPhone completely and then you know, go back on it, turn it on again, and then see if your drive is being recognized in the files app. The reason this is important is because if iOS isn't working properly, iOS is basically your operating system on your phone. If that's not working properly, certain things might just not work. For example, like recognizing a certain drive or anything like that. Next thing I want you to do is basically check if your drive is working on a different device. For example, connect your external drive to a PC or a laptop or anything like that. Make sure that it's connecting there. If it's still connecting there and it's not connecting on your iPhone, the final thing that I would recommend doing is going to your files app, removing the app, delete the app entirely, and then re-download the files app again. Then disconnect and reconnect your external drive, and then you should be good to go after all of those steps.